everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sort of chit chat, get ready with me, slash my everyday summer makeup routine. This will be a foundationless routine because I do not use foundation in the summer. I feel that with the climate here where I live, it is so humid sometimes and the aircon is just like so drying that like you just can't get a good balance. Your foundation like melts off and then it just like just gets sucked back into your skin with the AC. So I do not wear foundation, but I will be using like concealer, powder, bronzer, all that jazz. So I already started off by using my Neutrogena Moisture Oil-Free Moisturizer. I've been using this for two and a half years and I find that it is the best moisturizer for summer and winter and spring and fall and it is just the best and I will not stop using this until I start getting an allergic reaction to it. That's how good it is. So next what I will do sometimes if I have time is I will prime because I am just using concealer. Sometimes I like to fill in my pores here so that you can't really tell. So for the sake of this video I will use it but I will say that when I'm in a rush I do not use this. I just go straight to concealer which I know isn't the best but you know Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So just applying this to my T-zone. And this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 um, Hydrating Primer. I really like this and my sample is like... Ah! I was gonna say my sample is on the verge of being empty. And now it really is since it, since it just gave me so much and I just wanted a little drop. Oh my god. I don't know where that went. Oh, it went on my powder. Okay. Applying this to my T-zone. And by the way, I have combination oily skin, but sometimes I can be really dry. Like, I get dry patches. But I also do get oily in my T-zone in the summer. Because I do have dry patches, that is why I'm using my hydrating step one primer. And I really like this. It's really good if you do have dry skin. Definitely recommend it. Now going into my concealer. So I use the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer in the shade Creamy Natural. And I've been using this for like five years. Not this exact bottle. No, that would be totally disgusting. I really like this concealer. I find that it's really underrated. No one talks about it on YouTube, but this was like the very first concealer I bought when I first started off with makeup. And I've been using it ever since. I really like it. I use it on my spots and I also use it under my eyes. So because I have veins and sort of like dark circles, this has a little bit of a pinky undertone, not a yellow undertone. So I do use that under my eyes and I find that it cancels out the blueness like really well. Now I blend in the concealer around my problem areas with a beauty blender and then I pat underneath my eye with my ring finger and then I blend it in with the beauty blender after. So I'm going to do that because I know I won't be able to talk and I will be right back. So that's the concealer blended in. On top of my acne, I feel that it looks fine. You can't really notice, especially after I bronze up my skin, you can't really tell and it sort of just brings the overall warmth to my face because I do fake tan in the summer, so I wanna sort of match my face to the rest of my body. Now I'm going to be using the Dirty and Hit Pan Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Been using this powder for probably two years also. Best powder ever. Um, it is in the shade creamy natural so I just buff this into my skin I then go in with my wet and wild eyeshadow brush and I just swirl that into the powder tap off and sort of just pack this underneath my eye so that it prevents it from creasing and I just like to make sure that it is really set next what I like to do is to move on to my eyes so that I can finish the rest of my face without totally like messing it up. So I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and applying my favorite mascara of all time. 
It is The Rocket by Maybelline. The label has rubbed off again. Every time I get this, the label rubs off right away. It's annoying, but you know, whatever, I guess. Now, I have really long, um, sort of thin lashes naturally, so I really like to make sure that my eyelashes are curled and, you know, sort of resemble the same shape and length. So now I go in with the rocket and I apply that to both my top and bottom lashes. I'm really for that voluminous lash look, but having them look natural. But I can say that I really do like putting mascara on my lower lashes and I never used to because they look like spider legs. But I don't know if it's just because like I know how to do it better now or if like I don't know why. That that's what I'm getting at. So back in here and back out and I'm like really rambly guys like I'm home alone and I will be home alone for like the rest of the day so I have no one to talk to so I guess this is probably why I wanted to film a chatty get ready with me so you guys can tell how annoying how bored and how alone I am but yes I do have Coco like sleeping on my bed oh my god this is so cute but um like I said, she's sleeping. I love mascara. It makes such a big difference to your eyes. Like, it opens them up and you look so awake. And that is it. These are my lashes. So yeah, I just apply one coat. Um, this is the waterproof version, by the way. You have to get the waterproof because the waterproof is like the bomb. Even Sinead Katie on YouTube, the makeup chair, um, she also says only the waterproof because the regular version just doesn't have the magical formula like this one. So depending on what kind of look I'm going for, whether I'm going for like a fresh look or just going for like I'm awake look, I will use a black eyeliner if I'm trying to look like I got some sleep because for some reason that just makes me look more awake. And if I'm just going for a fresh look, I'll either use no eyeliner like now and just leave it or I will use a white eyeliner to make it more bright. I'm kind of feeling the no eyeliner look today. I'm just gonna just sort of like fill in the bottom lashes and let's see how that goes. So that's all I do for my eyes because, you know, nobody has time for this. So next I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I now use a different product for my brows, which I'm really happy about. It is the NYX Myco, Myco. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I use the shade Espresso. So it's dual ended. It's got a spoolie on one end, and then it's got a really fine tip on this end. So I'm just going to brush out my brows and then fill them in. My brows are looking so ratchet right now. Like I need to fix them or get them done or just something. So now is the difficult task of trying to make my eyebrow shape match because my eyebrows this week haven't been on fleek like they were last week and they are not the same shapes and they will never be the same shape. No one can just make them the same shape when I go get them done so thank god for brow products and brow pencils and stuff but still you know a tough life. That's the filled in brow and this is the not so filled in brow but that's what it looks like. The shade is um, warm, like warmer than my natural brow hairs which I find is okay because it's only by like one or two shades. My natural hair color gets lighter in the summer just from the sun. That's it. Pretty simple. I just fill in the natural shape. Try to make them look the same. Never works, so I just, you know, raise one brow more than the other so that no one can tell. Just joking. Now moving on to the fun part, bronzer. I never, ever, ever used to be a fan of bronzer. One, because it was orange. Two, because I'm pale. So when you put the orange bronzer on my pale face, I look just orange. Two, I'm pale enough that like you can tell when you're using bronzer, but now because I Fake tan because it's summer. It matches, it looks good, and actually it makes me look like bomb AF, okay? Like, I don't know. Anyways, you guys have seen this palette a million times. It is like my holy grail face palette here. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals. It came from like this big box set that was in the holiday collection. I think it's like in the moment palette. But anyways, I use this shade here. It's called Social Butterfly. It works really well with my skin tone, and I'm so happy for that. 
So I use a lot, because like I said, I gotta match. Um, I start, you know, get my temples blended into my hairline. I work my way down, I do it on my cheekbones there. Do it around my forehead as well, on the other side, and I do it on my jawline. Um, I do also bronze the sides of my nose. Hey guys, so my camera just died. The only thing I remember is that I left off all my bronzer. So I was saying that I do bronze my nose, I just bronze the side. I sort of bronze above my hollow in my cheek. I don't know how well this is turning up on this camera. I tried to turn down the exposure a little bit. Moving on with the same palette, I'm going to take Amazed, which is the blush, and a like Bare Minerals blush brush. Um, I'm literally just barely tapping my brush into it, and then tapping off the excess because this blush is so pigmented. So I just dab that. Basically on the apples of my cheeks, and then I blend it backwards to mix in a little bit with the bronzer, you know? Make it cohesive. And then I do that on the same as the other side and I put it directly on my apples. On my apples, guys. On my apples. And now moving on to the fun part. So because it is summer, we want a nice highlighted glow. Or previously, I would use my pink champagne highlighter in the same palette, but lately I've been reaching for something totally different. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Skpaid. Let me show you this. It is beautiful. It is perfect for fair skin. It's basically like a yellow highlighter with blue and peach and white tones in it. So it's great for pale skin. And I just use this Eco Tools tapered blush brush, but I just use like the edge of it so you can see. And I just dab that in. The reason why I love this one so much is that you can use a little and you'll barely notice or you can like pile it on to be as glowy as you want so i do it on the tops of my cheekbones um and then i tap a little bit and i go above my brow and on my brow bone i also do that on the other side obviously i then pile it back onto my brush and i go on my other cheekbone i also dab it put it down the center of my nose the teeniest bit on my forehead here not that much because i do get oily there and then on my cupid's bow gonna be a disco ball today guys and a little bit more right here you really can't go wrong with this product because it is so buildable and also so sheer at the same time but i think it just really complements my skin tone and i think it also just like looks so natural that like you can't even tell that there is product on my face which I love for the summertime. Moving on to lips, I do one of four options. I usually always do a lip balm, like probably like 80% of the time. However, if I want something that will last all day, I will go for a liquid lipstick. This is the ColourPop one, which has ripped off. It's the shade Midi, and it's an ultra matte lip. These are great. They stick on your lips, and they don't come off. It is the best thing ever. I recently did a liquid lipstick haul which I will link down below and you guys can check that out. I bought so many liquid lipsticks and I've been using them a lot. They're great. They're very pigmented and like the ColourPop ones are like super duper cheap. Another option is I will use my Urban Decay lipsticks just because they're really sheer and buildable and they're they feel like lip balms. These are discontinued however so I'm not going to be using this in this video but I do use that either naked or liar depending on my look but one lipstick that I have been reaching for a lot lately is this Rimmel Airy Fairy if you watch Anna Ciccone you know this is like her ultimate fave her after like Max Honey Love I bought this because of her but this is what I'm gonna be using today instead of a lip balm because you know lip balm's boring but this is the perfect shimmery nude on me it's more pink rather than nude but it is a perfect summer color I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. This is my everyday summer makeup look routine sort of thing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out every Sunday. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and would like to see more makeup tutorials by me. You can leave any requests you have down below for any type of video as well. And make sure to follow me on social media. Keep up to date with me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.